welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Saturday, I wanted to go over some news. It's been a, a very busy week uh, for me. Uh, people have been asking, um, hey, are you dead? Are you dying? I, I don't think so. I hope not. But uh, it's just been very, very fucking busy. And, uh, you know, I, I miss making videos. I miss doing reviews. Just got to carve out time. Okay, carve it out. I, that's my carving out pantomime. Anyway, wanted to do some news, Hatter Day news, <laughs> and uh, uh, dive into this. This is not comprehensive, this is just stuff that I uh, had noticed. So the first thing I did want to talk about is this, uh, right now it's just a rumor, but it, it's, it's it gotten a lot more traction than most, is that uh, Tatsu, a possible Tatsu figure, may be coming out, okay? This has uh, been spreading uh, to um, a, a lot of social media. I saw it on my favorite group, uh, the TMNT Party Wagon. Join that group, okay? Uh, but uh, this is based off of uh, this, uh, what is this? Montreal Casey Jones and TMNT News. Hey, gang, according to a very reliable source, it would appear that uh, Toshishiro Obata has given NECA the green light to finally produce the Tatsu figurine. Fingers crossed, and then it's got a bunch of fingers crossed, and then it says more info to come, okay? And then a uh, follow-up to this, someone says, or the same guy said, actually, guys, this comes from my Facebook page, and it was confirmed by Master Obata's son, so it as it, so it as to be true. And then you got a little thing, it says, Shinkendo Curriculum Gorin Goho Gogia. They will soon be making Tatsu action figures. Company needs pictures to match color and detail, and it says Yukishiro Obata, okay? Now, uh, I don't know if this is true. I don't know how true it is. I don't know. There's a, uh, the date is blocked out, somebody had mentioned, so I don't know when this was. I will say that um, uh, because I was in the class many, many moons ago, is his sword class is called Shinkendo. So the fact that this is uh, uh, coming from I don't know, Shinkendo curriculum, and then it's uh, Yukishiro Obata. I don't know. Th this is a lot of work to doctor this up. So <laughs> I, I, I don't have a lot of reason to doubt it, but I'm, I'm just, I'm holding out hope because Tatsu pretty much completes the, the core of uh, TMNT. So fingers crossed, lots of fingers crossed um, that that uh, happens. Oh my God, a Tatsu figure would be fucking wild, okay? And you know they'd come out with like a bunch of them, okay? Uh, and and uh, TMNT1, TMNT, it'd be, it'd be Tatsu fever uh, in 2023. So um, I'm like fucking drooling. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, maybe on the way. The other thing, all right, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm in, I'm in the zone now. The other thing I want to talk about is this. Uh, Ninja Turtles Nandroid, Raphael and Leonardo pre-order. So uh, I think I talked about this before. And uh, I'll talk about it again because the pre-orders are up for the Nandroid, uh, uh, Leonardo and Raphael, uh, Michelangelo, Dantello, not up yet. But you can get this at a bunch of different places. Uh, I'm getting this info off Toy Arc, so it's got links to like Big Bad Toy Store and all that. Uh, Nandroid makes really good shit, okay? If you are... Um, you know, if you never bought an Android figure and you're kind of like maybe hesitant about the quality, you're like, the look is great, but what, what's the quality? Nandroid, the way it looks, typically, again, I, I don't have every Nandroid. I have a handful of them, but typically that's the way they come out and they probably have the best paint jobs ever. So if these look this good, that's probably what you're going to get. Uh, they're about, I don't know, how tall are they? Like four, yeah, there you go. Four inches tall. I was going to do this. What the fuck does that mean? My hand could be huge or tiny. You don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, four inches tall, uh, include interchangeable faces, blah, blah, blah. So I'm on Big Bad Toy Store. You can get them for $50.99. And then it shows all the accessories that he comes with. By the way, uh, they have a Krang that they teased. We're not teased. They show the whole thing that's coming out. Indubitably, there'll be a shredder and uh the faces that you can swap out are just adorable uh look at this shot with the with the pizza and you see all of them they, they, they're they're adorable okay these guys can even pass depending on how um no they might be too big for that i was gonna say they could become your like infant turtles or not infant uh kid turtles depending on what um six inch figures you put them with but i just think because they're so bulbous it might look weird who knows i'll i'm, I'm gonna definitely get these 
and I'll size them up appropriately. But uh, yeah, you can get, uh, you can pre-order Raphael uh, and Leonardo. I think they're going to make a killing on these. Uh, Nandroid stuff, I think, sells pretty well. And uh, and by the way, this is off of the 1987. Um, it's weird because when I'm <laughs> when I'm on Big Bad Toy Store site, it says Nandroid 1987 Leonardo, but for Raphael it says 1986 Leonardo, uh, uh, 1986 Raphael. So I don't know what's happening there, but uh, there you go. You can pre-order those. Then what else? Oh boy. Okay, so this one caught me by surprise. Okay, and let it not be said that I'm not somebody who. Um, uh, allow second chances. I believe that uh, pencils have erasers for a reason. It has been uh, known that I have not been very supportive of the Loyal Subjects Best Action 6-inch Ninja Turtle line uh, as of yet, okay? Um, they're turtles. I didn't love. Uh, I actually saw them in hand. Felt a little uh, cheap. They're uh, somebody getting arrested out there. Their Casey Jones left something to be desired. Uh, I didn't love the look of his mask, even though I bought the glow in the dark one. I did like the punk turtles. I passed on them only because, I don't know, inevitably NECA is going to make some. So I'm just like, I don't know why, why double dip on those, but they are, they're pretty nice. Okay. However, they uh, have previewed a few other figures that I wanted to go over. Um, the first one, actually, this one might be out, but it's, uh, Krang, Krang and his little machine there. Uh, where is he? There you go. Uh, this one is okay. Um, you know, I have the one from NECA. I don't know if I need another one. Then they, um, uh, revealed this, uh, Casey Jones. So you got Casey Jones. It looks like it's like Purge Casey Jones. Uh, by the way, I know this is from a comic run where he wrote, uh, wore that, like, um, Looks like Captain America's shield is a mask. Uh, I forget the run, but um, if you want that Casey Jones, you can get that. It's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it's almost grayscale, except for the touches of red. But um, I'm wondering if uh, if they do just like a full colored version. But uh, you can get that, and it comes with an alternative uh, Casey Jones mask, which might be different than the mask that I have. The forehead doesn't look so big. But uh, yeah, you can get that. Then uh, they had a Rocksteady. Rocksteady with his uh, with his jacket on. Uh, I don't love the sculpt of Rocksteady, so um, I think it's an easy pass. But then we're getting into so they got this uh, uh, this slash right here, cartoon slash, and I gotta say he looks pretty fucking good. Okay, I mean I don't I don't have him in hand. He looks like he has thigh cuts, which I typically do not love, but. Uh, the sculpt on this guy's pretty cool. He's got like uh, the warts and uh, the gun and he has the trigger there and it does glow in the dark, I guess, which uh, when you look at the figure, it doesn't seem like it would, but it does. So, okay, sure. Uh, but I'm pretty impressed with the renders on this and um, I, I definitely want to see what he looks like in person. Uh, maybe I pick him up. I don't know. And then finally, I thought this one was the most interesting, and April O'Neil. They are coming out with their own April O'Neil, and she looks good as well, okay? Um, not perfect. I think she looks better than the NECA one, but um, I don't love... I don't, I don't know if I love the splashes of orange, but um, like uh, on her suit and on the boots. I kind of like the white boots, but in terms of the face, I don't know. I think this April looks pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very curious to see it. And uh, I have a feeling that, and she has two different faces. I don't love, I don't love the scared head, but um, um, I like the, I think I, I like the, the, just the, the, the normal face. Again, I got to see it up close. She comes with a gun too, <laughs> sure. And uh, the microphone and all that. But um, I don't know. I might be a customer on this if, uh, if it comes out looking uh, looking good because I also feel like this um, because April's proportions are so all over the place I feel like she could probably fit with a few different lines so um, look out for April O'Neil uh, uh, best action well some of this best action stuff in general uh, just looks like it uh, could be really uh, really interesting uh, what else did I had in uh, in news uh, oh so um, this company Nacelle I think I'm pronouncing it right, is doing Biker Mice from Mars. Uh, Biker Mice from Mars returning with new toys and animated series from the Nacelle Company. 
Wow. Uh, if these are on point, I will definitely be a customer uh, for this. Really, any of the... If you give me any of, like, the 90s, like, mutant uh, cartoons, like Street Sharks and uh, even Tiger Sharks and all that, um, I'll, 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 you'll have my money as long as they look decent. Decent? No, they got to look good. Why am, I, why am I shortchanging myself? Make these good, and I'll be a customer. That's all I got to say. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Biker Mice from Mars. And um, uh, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how these do. This is, this is part of the, when Ninja Turtles came out, it ignited a whole series of, for lack of a better term that I can't think of right now, copycats, okay? Just people that are like, let's, let's or companies that are like, let's try to cash in on the mutant craze. But Biker Mice from Mars, I feel, was, was one that kind of stood out. Um, Street Sharks is another one that stood out from... Uh, from some of the rest. So I'll be very excited uh, to see these. I will be keeping my eye on you, Biker Mice from Mars and Nacelle. And just a few random things. Um, so uh, they uh, have some Marvel Legends pre-orders that are coming up. The one that I had my eye on was the uh, Spider-Man from the video game, Spider-Man. Um, the uh, uh, whatever, the PlayStation Spider-Man. However, I do not love this price. He's like 30, how much is this guy? 35 bucks. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, I really got to see what he comes out, how he comes out. Um, and his accessories kind of suck. I mean, he's got two hands. He's got some web stuff, but like, just got like a one fist hand and like, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not... I'm not loving this creeping up, uh, uh, these creeping up Hasbro prices, okay? I thought, hey, we got the windowless packaging, doesn't something go down? I guess, I guess not. I guess it just keeps going up and up and up, but uh, I'm a big fucking fan of this game. I love the shit out of this game. I, I did like every DL, uh, um, uh, 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 DLC thing that you could do. Uh, I found all those, what is it? I did all those Taskmaster uh, uh, side missions. It was crazy. Okay. I was, I was, I was all in on this, but, uh, um, I am interested in this. We'll see. I, I'll, I'll, I'll make a game time decision when it comes out, which sometimes means uh, no, but, uh, but yeah. And then, uh, anything else here? Uh, black and white Dracula is coming out. I think I'm good. I think I, I was going to do both the universal monsters in the color versions and the black and white. I think I'm just going to go with a uh, color Dracula. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably just stay committed to that. And then what else? Oh, there was some massive universe stuff, bunch of, uh, uh, massive universe, uh, lines coming out. I know the line is dying, but, uh, <laughs> but they have some stuff, uh, that's coming out. So, um, uh, many faces, shadow weaver, which I'm really excited about, uh, pig head and then sorceress. Uh, I think sorceress is already out, but, uh, I'm very excited uh, to get uh, to get these in hand and um, and support support the masters uh, masters of the universe. Uh, this many faces looks really cool too. I've always loved that guy and just you know he's got many faces. I don't know if you know that, but uh, it's Shadow Weaver too. All these guys, all these guys. I'm 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 uh, I'm fucking in for. And then um, was there anything else? Uh, Oh yeah, I think I talked about this, but yeah, Indiana Jones uh, a line that's uh, um, that's coming out. They got uh, the Adventure Series uh, Club uh, Obi Wan figure. That's gonna be like an exclusive, and then you get Donovan, which is kind of cool. He's like one of the main villains of uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He's holding the 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 not real cup of Christ. A uh, 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 spoiler. Uh, that's not the one you should drink from, and he comes with a fucking zombie head when he gets all old, and then you got Professor Indiana Jones from The Last Crusade, but it's not, it's not factually correct, it's not cinematically correct, he didn't, when he was in The Last Crusade, he didn't wear, like, that bow tie, he had, like, a, he had, like, a, a tie, like, a, like, a, a necktie, and, uh, they also have him in one of the pictures, if I could find it, he's, like, holding the shield, which <laughs> makes it seem like it's, like, like the shield was an accessory it wasn't it was just a, a shield in a tomb he was never holding a shield he never blocked anything um i brought this up to say that uh man i'm so conflicted with the indiana jones line i gotta see the first wave in hand this was um probably my was it my no it was my number two 
line in terms of like action figures it's, or movies that should have action figures dedicated to them. But I don't know. I don't know why I'm not loving some of the renders. Maybe it's the faces. Maybe it's the fact that like the scale is like, I don't know. It's like, I, I almost wish it was like Hasbro, G.I. Joe scaled, like classified scaled, but it's not. I think it's more like Black Series. But um, I don't know. I'm just not getting excited about these. Again, maybe when I get that first wave in hand with like Marion and all that, maybe I'll fucking be over the moon. But right now, I'm just, I just think it's okay. Uh, they're also, they also teased um, Indiana Jones uh, last, uh, sorry, Temple of Doom with his uh, shirt ripped up and a uh, short round. Okay, so that's, that's coming out too. And they also have like a toy whip. They got like a toy whip for kids. I, I don't know, man. It's like the. I guess that's them trying to like <laughs> appeal to like the younger generation. I don't know how many kids are gonna go for Indiana Jones. Um, so I, is that necessary? Uh, who knows? Okay, uh, but uh, I mean, if you want just a, a crack and whip that just looks like one of those like uh, things that you you blow in and they 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 curl up and they straighten out. <laughs> it's uh, whatever those things are. Uh, you can get that for twenty five dollars uh, too, and um, and yeah. But uh, I think that's it. Is that it for the news, or that's it for the news that I don't know was relevant to me? Yeah. To sum up, Tatsu. Holy shit. Possible Tatsu. Sorry, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna jinx it. Uh, Nandroids, Ninja Turtle Nandroids. Best action. Maybe taking the game up. Very interested in that April. Very interested in that Slash. Uh, Master of the Universe. Um, <laughs> it, the line is dying, but uh, mysteriously more figures are coming out. And uh, Indiana Jones and uh, possible Spider-Man. That's it. That's it for uh, toy news. Uh, Hatterday toy news. And um, I, have, I have a pile of shit to review, a, a literal pile where uh, my wife is like, what, this is, you're building like a fucking toy fort, okay, uh, but I, 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 I have not had the time to just crack it open and dive into it, it's, it's, uh, these babies, they're a lot of work, I don't know if you know, okay, you, you feed, you change, you do a lot of things, okay, they, they, they just, they just suck up your time, not to say I'm ungrateful, I love it, but like, it's, it's just, it's very hard, to find time, and then you're listening to all kinds of music, like Baby Shark and all that, it's crazy, my mind is, 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 I feel like I'm drunk half the fucking time, sleep schedule all off, so yeah, and I'm hoping to do another live stream uh, as well, but that's all I got, toy news uh, coming out, lots of stuff to spend in 2023, and uh, that's it, comment, subscribe, drop me a like, I will see you next time, bye-bye.